Have you seen sometimes that from third perspective, we see a better perspective? Sometimes when you're in the situation, you don't see it. Are you guys, are you guys understand what I'm saying? How many of you have observed some people in relationships like that before? How many of you have been the victim in a relationship like that before? <laughs> you guys understand what I'm saying? <laughs> like all your friends are saying, you shouldn't be with that idiot anymore, <laughs> right? And they keep telling you, they keep telling you over and over and over. And guess what? One day, <laughs> three years later, <laughs> five years later, you say, you say, oh my God, I don't want to be with this idiot anymore. And everyone's like, no shit. You know, I've been telling you for how many years now, right? From sometimes when you're in a situation, because ego is there, myself is there, you cannot see the witnesser, the witnesser perspective, the universe perspective, the sign showing up over and over again. Do you not find sometimes you can be in a relationship and it takes you like a million years to figure out that you're not right for each other <laughs> when actually it was so apparent from day one to everybody else that you're not right for each other. How many of you are catching what I'm saying here, right? This is witnesser. From witnesser sees everything is much more apparent. Once you're in that situation, it's very hard to see. That's why in moments like this, sometimes when you find, and this is something for you to write down as well, in moments, whenever you find that um, things are showing up and maybe some things can be triggering you. Some things can be frustrating you. Some things that are continuously repeating itself when it's showing up that way. How about take yourself out of myself and just reflect on the sequence of events that's been happening. From there, we'll give you some answers. One thing we need to see is the signs. What are the signs? What are the messages we're getting? Are we open for it? Inside your notes, you should be writing down for yourself, I'm open to receiving. And you should be writing down for yourself, I'm open for change. That would probably be one of the best quotes you can take forward in 2022. Put it on your wall. I'm open for change. By the way, common people don't usually change. Common people don't like change. But you've got to ask yourself one question. Are you common people? Do you want to be common people? You know, what happens when you change? Common people say, oh my God, you've changed. You see, when you're not common people, when you're, okay, I'm striving to become the best of myself. Obviously, I want to change. When you're not common people, you look at common people and you say, oh my God, you haven't changed. Are you understanding what I'm saying? How can people not change? That is the strange thing, not changing. Change, change is the only constant. So we need to be evolving. So this is another thing as well. When we look at the universe, universe is evolving. Evolution is happening. Look at the universe. Has it been changing over the last 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, 50 years? Has it been changing? Yes, it has. Has it been evolving? Yes, it has. My question to you is this, and you write this down for yourself, the question for yourself. How am I going to evolve with the universe? That is your big question. How am I, as an individual, going to evolve with the universe? All you need to do is look around. Which way, are, which way is everything going? Am I still doing the conventional stuff? Why? The conventional way of thinking, the conventional way of education, the conventional way of the nine till five, the conventional way of... Why? I'll give you one simple example. I'll give you one simple example, and this is probably all you need. Okay, a conventional way is to work a nine till five. True or true? A conventional way is to work five days a week. True or true? How many hours is that in a week, roughly? What, what do you think? Roughly, 40 hours, right? How many hours in a month? 40 times four, you guys aren't so fast. Huh? <laughs> Your math is as bad as mine. <laughs> okay, 160 hours, right? 160 hours. 
160 hours times by 12 is how much? One year, how many hours? 160 hours times by 12 is how much? Use a calculator, please. You haven't got enough toes. Come on. Okay, around 2,000 hours, yeah? Okay, around 2,000 hours. Okay, 2,000 hours, right? Give me, those of you who are based out in US, okay? Give me what's kind of like a standard one year average salary, what we're looking at. What do you think the average are making salary? 40K? 40 to 60K, 50K? 30K? 50K, 40K? Okay, 25K? I'm gonna go 32K, so I'm gonna go 40K, okay, 40K. So let's say 40K average salary, you make 40K a year, okay? Conventional, 40K a year, right? And then, um, you work 2,000 hours to make the 40K. True or true? 2,000 hours. 2,000 hours for 40K. Now, let me ask you this question. Uh, before taxes, yes, that's correct. Before taxes, right? After taxes, <laughs> yeah, a little less, okay? So let's say, for example, okay, you got 40K, 40K a year, and you do 2,000 hours. What about now? Those of you, how many of you uh, uh, flipped some money in our NFTs? What was the numbers? Give me how many dollars in how long? Those of you who did flip. $5,000 in four days. $16,000 in two weeks. $20,000 in three weeks. Okay? $26,000 in 24 days. $26,000 in 24 days. Okay, so let's take this, right? Around 20, we've got another one, $20,000 in three weeks. Okay, let's, let's take that. $20,000 in three weeks. $40,000 in six weeks. Okay, but if you did $40,000 in six weeks, let me ask you this question. Did you work all the hours, yes or no? How many hours of work was it? So don't use the weeks anymore. Tell me how many hours of work was it? Total hours, now give me how many hours, if you were to work out how many hours you actually worked to the number, give me that instead now. How many hours? Andrew Edwards is saying three hours to $24,000. One hour for $16,000. $3,000 in one hour. One hour, $7,000. Are you guys looking at conventional and evolution? Are you guys understanding what I'm saying here, right? Now, I'm not telling all of you to quit your job because some of you, maybe you like slaving away at uh, some job system and maybe you like being stuck nine till five, five days a week. And maybe you like to, um, let me tell you a downside. Let me tell you a downside to uh, like NFT space and things like that. Let me tell you a downside. Well, can, I, can I be honest with you guys? I'll tell you a downside, right? You will no longer get to experience looking forward to the weekends. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, but you, you don't get that. Like, I, I, I don't, I, 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 I can't remember last time I had that feeling. Oh my God, I can't wait for the weekend. I, I can't, I, I, I can't remember. I, I think I'm, I'm deprived of that feeling now. I, I, don't, I don't get it anymore. So before you guys make a decision to say, yes, I want to evolve and I want to learn this stuff, and you've got to consider this. Are you, are you willing to sacrifice that feeling? Because you'll never get it again. <laughs> you guys are giving me the yes. <laughs> because there are no weekends. There are no weekends. But this is what I mean evolve evolve through it and i always say to people i say nobody cares about the money who cares about the money we care about being at peace i care about how my i'm in dubai right now and my dad was at home in the uk and he didn't have much to do I care about being able to say, Dad, do you want to come to Dubai? We don't care about the money. 
I care about how my dad has back pains. I care about how when I book a flight, I can say, let me book the business class so you've got more space and you can actually lie down and you don't need to hurt that back or stress that back anymore. I don't care about how many digits I've got in my bank account. I don't care about the paper. I don't care about money. I care about the people and the things I care about. But it just so happens that sometimes money can give us a little bit more comfort. That's all. Are you guys understanding what I'm saying here? I don't. I, my, 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 my dad said, how, how, long, how long shall I go for? I, I don't want to, I don't want to bother your work. When, when to book the return? I care about being able to say, dad, we'll just book a single. And when you want to return, you decide. I care about when my dad says to me, no, it costs more. I care about being able to tell my dad, don't worry about it. Just you decide. Just come and enjoy. As long as you enjoy, you stay here. You want to go home, then we just book your flight and you can go home. Are you guys understanding what I'm saying? When, when we're talking about... You, do you really, you really think I care about this pixelated image? <laughs> you really think I care about this MetaMask? I don't care about that. I just care about the people I care about. Are you understanding what I'm saying? That's all. I care about helping people. I care about today. What is this? You, 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 are, you, you all paid thousands of dollars to be here today? Not really. I care about being able to say, team, I want to run another call tomorrow. I want to teach people some stuff. I care about being able to help people whenever I want to. I care about being able to tell, tell my team, team, could you all put an event together on the third? I've got some important stuff I want to share with people. I care about that we have over 100 kids in Kenya for the past 10 years that we, they're orphan children, you know, and now they have a home. I care about being able to, again, next month, every single year without fail, we've been going out there to see them. And I've watched them grow through this time. That's what I care about. But all of these things that I care about, it just so happens when you have freedom of time and money, it, it, it allows you to, um, do the things you care about. I care about my spiritual journey. I care about my spiritual practice. I care about it enough to say that, okay, in two months time, I can fly out to the Himalayas and spend some time with my master and do some training without worrying about anything. Are you guys understanding what I'm saying here? So this is another question for everybody to understand here and for you to write down for yourself to consider after this call. I mean, there's no point you just listening to me speak. Oh my God, I'm inspired by you, Master. I'm inspired by you. I, I don't want you to just be, oh, Master's amazing. You are amazing. You see, you are on this call. How do you take what, 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 what inspired you? How do you take that? And how do you become the next version of yourself from it now? You have to now start projecting yourself. <laughs> <laughs>